Hi friends, Leela. Welcome to my NTRX Angular course. Now in this video, what we will try to do is, we will try to do the update post and the delete post. Now here, this in this in this project. Now right now we don't have any post details. Let's try to create one add post. So Leela post post. Here I am clicking on add post. It has been successfully added. Now let's try to keep the update and delete post links here. Go to the post list component.ts. Here we can tell what I will try to do. Try to add the actions here. Actions. Let's try to add the actions. In this one, TD. Okay, TD. I will be adding the TD here. This TD. I will be having one link that is nothing but the href is equal to uh, edit post and another one is nothing but the so here I will be having edit post another one is the update uh, sorry delete post so delete post here I can keep some ampersand in bsp so here we got uh, edit post and delete post Right, add the nbsp here yeah i have added try to see yeah here we are able to get the edit post and delete post let press it again i try to refresh this I'm running yeah post and delete post is it okay fine so now let's try to see the output so post.id here we are able to get the post and delete post right now what i will try to do is here we will try to add a router link so router link equal to slash post sorry comma edit so what i will try to do here post.id okay post.id so I am sending the post data. Now if I go here and if I click on the edit post, try to refresh one. Right, it's working. Now if I try to click on here, I am able to go to the edit post working detail. Now let's go to the edit post component at HTML. Here whatever the and the add post we are having that all total HTML. We can take this one and here I can paste here automatically. Here I can do edit post okay edit post form here i can have on edit post okay form control and these all things are okay here i can write update post in the edit post component.ts what i need to write here we have everything edit post form okay of type form group i'll be having this one of type form group and I can import this form group at the top and in the on the ng on init what I can do is dot edit post form is equal to new form group of title new form control okay I need to add this new form control of null and I can copy paste here down and I can do description let's add the description so we have created edit post form that's it so on edit post so we have added a method on edit post this is these are all common okay so now if we go here go back side okay compiling now if i try to add add edit post here okay so we are able to see the details now first we need to show the details how we can show let's try to inject the private post source let's try to inject the post source service okay post service after I post entity service we have the already post entity service right post service and private route let's inject the route activated activated route detected both the thing first I will try to take the id id of type string okay so what I will try to do here This dot id is equal to this dot route 
dot snapshot dot params of id i am taking the id here okay now i took the id now what i need to do <coughs> i got the details id so now i need to get the details so post details so here i can have something like what i can do is this dot post service dot entities okay entities dot subscribe of post we will be getting the post here now here what we can do constant post is equal to post dot find of post okay so post dot id is equal to is equal to this dot id so we are having the constant now what i can do this one this dot edit post form dot patch value so i can use this patch value to, to update the details so now here i can add post dot id sorry post dot title and another one is the description post dot description right these are the things i added so here post form is created fine perfect and if i go back side okay now if i click on edit post let's refresh this page after compiling if i click on post details now we are not able to see why is there any error here we are able to see patch value you cannot read patch value okay what could be the reason here we are getting details okay 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 first we need to create the form right so on ng i need i need to create now if i try to go back side okay if we refresh this page now if i try to click on edit page edit post we are able to see the details now if i click to click on edit or update post so i need to update this so what i need to do here i need to here what we need to do so what we can do is so let's go to the post data service now here we need to update the post here what we can write is update post of type here you need to send the update sorry update of post okay update of post update of post and it will be returning the observable of post so these are the details update it should be updated so we already know about the update thing how the update will look like now here what we need to do so i can copy this directly here i can paste it this directly and this one will yield the post okay now here what i can do is post slash sorry dollar post dot id post dot id dot json okay i can use the put here and we need to send here stuff like this post dot changes post dot changes i need to send the post dot changes and i can just return it like this directly so i can return it directly like this. yeah that's it so we have successfully did this one so now post dot id dot json for that id it will be able to update the changes thing so post dot changes we will be having the data now here what i can do the post what we need to do in the edit post component.ts so here sorry constant post data is equal to what i can do is this dot edit post form dot value i can take complete value and here post service we are having right so let's try to update this one this dot post service so this dot post service okay dot post service dot update we will call the update and we need to send the post data here right that's it okay so now what we need to do we need to if you want you can navigate this one so automatically what we can do here so private router router right so router sorry router we need to update the router private router we have updated the router and now here what we can do this dot router dot navigate router dot navigate to the slash post we can update to the post here that's it so now we have updated the post and if you go to the post data service 
and here nothing no not a problem and we updated the post now let's try to see the output here if i go back side okay if i click on refresh on getting the post i think is whether it update compiled or not we let's try to see it's compiled perfect now i will go down clicking on edit post edited and here also i will write edited and if i click on update post the primary key may not be null or undefined yeah perfect so what we need to do here we need to send the id also for this one right we don't have the id right so now we have we will be sending that id now everything ngrx data will take care so we need to send the complete post details post interface data we need to send it and everything it will take care now if i try to click on edit post so edited here modified whatever that i want you can write it modified i will write it modified now if i click on update post directly up it went to here see so now if i click on update if i click on edit post if i remove this one okay if i click on update see it has been updated so successfully we have implemented the update now what we'll try to do is we'll try to implement the delete also so on delete post one we what we need to do let's go to the post html and here what i can write click okay equal to on delete post i can write directly i will send dollar event comma post dot id so on delete one delete post post dot id so what we, what i can do here i can go here i can use on delete post event of type event okay now i will be getting the id also here so now sorry id of type string i will get the id of type string also so now what we need to do we need to update the post here so we so same thing we need to write the delete function we need to delete write the delete function on the same thing okay so we will try to see it in the next video so how we can do this delete post we'll try to see it in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you